Extracting assets from an RPG Maker game might be okay for modding. It might be okay for making fan art. It is totally okay if you just want to rescue your files after you lost your source files. It is not okay for stealing other people's work and using it as your own. With that in mind, let me show you how to extract assets from uh, any RPG Maker game. Now there was a big shift between VXAs and MV in how files are saved, so for VX, VXAs and XP you have to use one tool and for MV you have to use a different tool. We're gonna start with VXAs or before. So we got a game, Gate of Color. This is a game that is from the Global Game Jam. It is available both in source and binary form, so extracting assets from this game would give you nothing, so it should be completely illegal to try it out here, because you can just get the source anyway. This is uh, under a Creative Commons license, you would have to read the details on the Global Game Jam website if you're interested in reusing any of these assets. But we're gonna just try it out. So Gate of Color, there's a game and there's a game.rgss3a file. There would be a rgss2a or 1a or maybe just a file for vx or xp. So to extract this, let's go to rpg maker old decryptor. This is how the exe looks like and this is what the application looks like. Now let's get to this folder, copy the path and open it. Just gonna paste the path and open the rgss3a file. And as you can see, you can select rgssad, oh that's what they are called, or rgss2a or rgss3a files here. Selecting that, it identified a lot of files. Let's go to tools, and extract all files. And that was quite quick because the game is relatively small. Let's close this, go back to the folder of the extractor over here, and here is the folder extract. It contains data, not sure what to do with that, and graphics. And it would also contain audio if it had any audio. In graphics the most interesting folder usually is pictures. Here we have uh, the pictures from this game. And if it has custom portraits, probably in car no that's Okay, so these are sprites. Interesting. And uh, what else? I guess animations? No, not so much. Battlers? Well, there's a butterfly. And this is how you get these pictures. Uh, how do you get pictures and also audio, if there was audio, from any RPG Maker XP, VX or VX Ace game. Let's continue with uh, Pull Yourself Together, which is an MV, RPG Maker MV game. This one does not have uh, the kind of, what was it called? rgss3a file, it does not have that. Instead, files are saved uh, in more complex structures. Oh, but they are not encoded here. Usually they are encoded separate uh, separate files here. But let's pretend that this was an, an, a game with encoded files. So let's copy this path, open the RPG Maker MV decryptor, and start it. If I start it using RPG Maker MV decryptor.jar, it doesn't work for me. So I have to use start.bat. You might also have to ensure that you have Java installed for that. Let's go to File, select RPG MV Project, and paste the path that I just copied. Open it, and it confirms. RPG Maker Project loaded. Please use decrypt all files. So let's do that, decrypt all files. Can't find decryption key. Okay, so I guess this is what happens when the uh, game is uh, not encoded at all. Okay, so I found this game, Disable World. It's also from Global Game Jam. There's also source files available. It's even on GitHub and it has an executable with encrypted uh, images. Let's see, images, uh, IMG. Um, let's go faces and here we have it, RPG MVP. This is the encryption or the encrypted files. Let's see, audio, also RPG MVO. All right. Let's see what the app can do with that. So if we open, where is that thing? Here it is. RPG Maker MV Decryptor by Petschko. Let's open, select RPG MV Project, paste the path again. What the heck? Okay, let's just restart this. This is getting creepy. And start. And disable world. And file select and paste, and open, and what the heck is going on here? Okay, I guess that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright, RPG Maker project loaded, and decrypt all files. 
decryption complete. Let's see, what folder did it pick? Did it just do it in here? Um, nope, I guess it created its own folder. So here it is. Oh yeah, it has an output folder and in www it has the audio files. Okay, I can hear them now. Okay, so that's the music and um, sound effects are there. And here we have some characters. I don't know if any of these... Oh yeah, these, these look... I mean, I haven't seen these before. Are they custom? Look cool. Looking cool. And we have tile sets, probably standard stuff. We got a crystal graphic. Don't know if that's a standard asset system stuff. So yeah, basically everything is decrypted now. So to get these tools, you just go to this GitHub page for the MV decryptor. And the link is in the description, but pay attention. You have to click this asset icon or text link and then you have to download this thing the rpg maker mv decryptor jar uh, 0131 hotfix zip and extract it and then you can use it and for rpg maker xp vx vx ace games this is the most stable link i i was able to find the link is in the description again and you can just download it here and again you extract it and then you can use it so I hope this is useful. If you have troubles, let me know in the comments and enjoy recovering your own assets or enjoy modding or making fan art and do not use other people's work to claim that it is yours. That's total nonsense and extremely unfriendly. So I hope you have fun modding games, making fan art or rescuing your own work. Until next time, ciao.